when I was a child, we used to say, smallpox is due to the wrath of the goddess. And today you say, hey, 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 well, the old fellows didn't know anything. They were also rational. There's a cause, there's an effect. Today's professor comes for rounds and says, oh, this is viral fever? Yes. Students agree, yes, sir, yes, sir. Nobody sees the virus. Now all of you say H1N1 virus, right? Right? Pune, it came, he came here, there. This is called the medical scare system, scare system. The minute you say H1N1, you piss in your pants. Because you see, you see, it dies, people die. They created this care in 2009 to sell a drug which was not selling. It's called Zadovidin. So what did they, Tamiflu they call it, Tamiflu. This company which was manufacturing Tamiflu and had the world right for marketing it is the company which made this test, which is called H1N1 test. You go to the laboratory and get a test done. It has not been authenticated by any independent agency. It has not come from anybody. It has come from the company. So the specificity and sensitivity of the test is less than 50%, which means whether it is positive or negative, it doesn't mean at all. Actually, you'll be surprised. In 2009, everybody said, everybody put on that mask and all. If you put on a mask and go, it is bad for you, not for the others anyway. Others, nothing happens because flu doesn't jump like that. You catch a cold, you catch a virus. It goes by this handle. Your mobile phone is the most dangerous, or bus handle, door handle, door knobs. But if you have a brass knob, it's good because the virus doesn't live long there. Brass knob kills the virus so fast. Or if you have coconut oil in your hands, the virus dies in seconds. So these viruses are caught. So you don't have to put a... I feel see a lot of these people in the plane putting on that. I said, what are you... Are you having some bad disease? You don't want to give it to us? No, no, no I am protecting myself from flu. I said, I said, you are not protecting yourself from flu. You are protecting yourself from good oxygen around you. You are re-breathing the same air that you are taking. So after some time, you will carbon dioxide intoxication. That's all what happens. A lot of these policemen, policemen of course, no, the road is different. Uh, in the, in the, uh, the screening area in the airport, you must see that uh, CISF fellow also has a... I tell those girls, please don't do that. Breathe normally. Nothing happens. Now coming down to that, in New Zealand, on an average every year, in the flu season, 15 to 17,000 people die. This is normal, every flu season. In America, about 36,000 people die. In India, we don't have statistics because our people die in the village, we're not accounted for. Only people who die in the hospital are accounted for. So that's not a reliable statistics. But that particular year, because everybody washed hands, remember that you don't want to catch a virus, wash your hands. Never touch your nose, your mouth, your eyes, or any part of your body where it's liable to get virus infection, without washing your hands, because shaking hands is the worst thing that can happen. Ours is such a healthy system. Namaskaram. So nice, two things happen. One, your humility shows. You see, you bend and say Namaskaram. Humility is a sign of virtue and great education. Then number two, you don't touch another person's hands. The dirtiest part of the body is the hand. And the WHO taught us a very nice thing. You know, when, hak shivdu, and hold this. And then that has millions of germs, you just shake hands. No, you do this. It comes here, no, nobody touches there. And it doesn't touch anyone. By evening it is dead. Three, four hours the virus is dead. So the best thing is, whenever you have to sneeze, whenever you have to cough, that's it. Anyway, New Zealand that year, because everybody washed hands, you know only 3,000 people died. So this care of... Uh, so-called non-existent H1 virus saved 15,000 lives in one year in a small country whose population may be a little bigger than Pune.